Brian Powell of I Run Far here with Ruby Muir before the 2015 Terraware Ultra Marathon. How are you, Ruby? Yeah, good. Um, chatted with you two years ago here when you were the champion. Return, or yeah, had a great race here two years ago, and uh, then you ran into some problems last year in terms of injury. Uh, what happened? I ha I've had a few injuries. Um, the last time it was time for Tata I was recovering from a stress fracture, and just as I got back from that, I had a pretty bad fall and tore a muscle, one of my quadricep muscles off. So. <laughs> Finally, I'm back and ready to run now. Back to ready to run. Um, yeah. Your stress fracture was that uh, foot, leg, uh, hip? my tibia. Well, maybe I never got a, I never got a proper diagnosis, but it was pretty obvious. <laughs> so you took some time off with that to heal up, and then yeah, took... more of a traumatic type injury with the fall. Yeah, um, came out of the blue a bit more. And that hasn't healed. You're able to run again, but you're running on seven out of eight uh, quad muscles. I think so. We're not totally sure. One specialist thinks maybe a bit of it's attached, but okay. maybe, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not paying for another ultrasound uh, MRI to find out, but most of it's definitely gone. Yeah. And the other muscles are compensating pretty well. And you've worked your way back up slowly to... Yeah, I spent a lot of time in the gym over winter, and just after December I finally sort of got out of the gym. Mm -hmm. And by only running really smooth roads, I've picked my mileage back up to... I guess about 120k to 140k, which was much more than I was hoping to do this soon out of the gym. So mm -hmm. I'm actually really happy with that. But you've had to change a little bit what you run on and how you run, correct? Yeah, it's it's been quite fun for a change. I mean, I always love running on the trails, but actually road running is quite fun too. And I love getting into a rhythm and I'm feeling quite strong. And so this year I've set some road goals, mm -hmm. which will be an interesting change, yeah. And how do you find your fitness coming into Tarawera? You think you're pretty strong? Um, well, I've had some really good training, but only for five weeks. So, you know, if I'd kept doing that for another five weeks, I'd be <laughs> feeling good. But the race is now, and my training went amazingly well, considering, so I've got no complaints. Well, you got about seven times the training Nuria has. I think she has five or six days in yeah. so far, so... It's kind of that time of year for people in the northern hemisphere, but for yeah, you... Yeah, it's a bit uh, early in the season. For, for, for us, it's sort of the end yeah, of the season. Yeah. yeah. Um, where have you been able to race at all in the last year? Uh, I did I did the Kepler. Which I presume you won again? Yeah, and in my, in my personal worst time <laughs> out of the gym, but I was really happy with that because that was only two weeks or three weeks before that was when I had my MRI and I was being told you can't you can't run on this, you should probably give up running type thing. <laughs> and I said, well, I am actually am running. <laughs> it's not that good, but I can do it. So I decided to enter the race just to, because this is an injury that's not necessarily getting better. I was like, yeah. well, I'm going to have to live with this and I'm going to keep doing what I love. So I entered it sort of in that mindset. Yeah. And I guess I'd retained a lot of my base and my knee coped pretty well. And so here I am at this here one. Here you are. And you don't find you, you, it's actually come so your stride is balanced again. And it's I think strength-wise it's balanced, so running on the road, I used to get a lot of back pain because one was a lot weaker, mm -hmm. and my good leg, my arch had been collapsing, and I've still got problems with that, but coordination and range of motion is still not the same, so on the trails that can get a bit scary at times, and doing stairs and things, or leaping from rock to rock, which is what I used to love. Is... Oh, playing on the, the hillsides. Yeah. So maybe coming down the stairs into Blue Lake, you'll yeah, be a, a little more careful time. than usual. I have to go <laughs> sideways down them these days, but... Do you really? Yeah, yeah. lately. But um, I'm not really working on that. I've just decided this year I'm going to do road, and mm -hmm. maybe a year later I might get back into it and find out it's not as hard. I'm not sure. Just the risks are too high at the moment. If I yeah. fall wrong on it, it's not good. But you feel alright in terms of giving 100k on, on yeah. less technical, you know, yeah, less steep Yeah, it's not too trip. technical, and I'm got a different strategy I'm going to try and target those roads at the end for once so really I'm going to that, that's it. the opposite of your, uh, yeah, your, yeah, exactly. your your approach in the past I've just had to change my mindset so uh, but you're looking fun. forward to it I bet yeah I, do. Uh, I am it must be feel even more of a gift of, of running now that you're you've had a you know a couple major injuries yeah especially with this knee I was offered the opportunity of surgery initially when we thought the tear was further down the tendon mm -hmm. and I was told the surgery would take a year and you know initially you're in a leg brace or even a wheelchair like it was quite a serious surgery and I was weighing up at that time I was sort of able to run 10k on a flat easy road and I was like well you know maybe I could cope with that for the rest of my life being able to get some therapeutic exercise 
and so I sort of accepted that and then to get to where I am now it's yeah like getting it like the gift all over again awesome cool. um yeah. two years ago when I was talking to you here after you know before and after your win at Tarawera you were kind of off the radar and you know probably not so used to being in front of the cameras and now you had a, a great film made about you you know it's 10 minutes short yeah what was that like um well Aaron who made it's a really nice guy and I guess I I knew him as a person and he asked me and I said yes for that reason but it's definitely his film like I'm not going out of my way to make a film about me so of course I of let course, him but... tell the story he wanted to tell and I think it's really beautiful I find it I have to watch it on mute because I'm too embarrassed about how awkward I am but when I watch <laughs> it on mute I realize he's a really talented guy so. best of luck out there Ruby this weekend Cheers. and have fun yeah cool